unusual potential in everyday things can be a mind-expanding exercise. Well, in the hands of assistant professor George Essel, cell phones don't just have cameras, they have vision. Of course people use cell phones for, you know, phone calls. Hello, George Essel. And yeah, now they come with apps that let them do all kinds of other stuff too. But George Essel. Hello there. An assistant professor of computer science and engineering and of music is taking the iPhone to new, dare we say, artistic heights. So I can actually hit this button here and now it's changing the playback rate of what I'm saying. Hello there. Hello there. Hello there. Hello there. What you're seeing is the first ever iPhone symphony. Mobile speakers accommodate movement on a stage in front of a full house. A high pressure final exam if there ever was one. I taught a class that was called Building a Mobile Phone Ensemble. And the idea was really to bring this concept of making music with mobile phones into pedagogy. How can we both teach music and iPhone programming, for example, at the same time and bring these things together and get musicians to do technical engineering things and get engineers to understand the artistic thing which can involve you know, preparing a concert, writing a piece, worrying about presentation to, to the audience, all those things. The chance to pursue that kind of cross-pollination is why Professor Essel came to the University of Michigan and why the U recruited him from Berlin. The University of Michigan really promotes this idea that we should bridge between disciplines, right? So we have this structure of established discipline. There's music, there's computer science, there maybe physics, and so forth. But very often, interesting things happen at the intersection of one, two, three, four, five of these uh, traditional disciplines. And so the University of Michigan was actually looking to hire somebody who would do both computer science and music. And that's what I'm, I'm doing. So that's how I ended up being at the University of Michigan, because there was a good fit between what I wanted to do and what the University of Michigan is really interested in exploring and sort of being interdisciplinary and finding new things that don't just fit one sort of tent. So now your phone's more than a little computer that makes calls. It's the musical instrument that's always on hand. There's actually a lot you can do with it.